All right, we're here with Jared at Kill Devil Diesel. We've been killing it all weekend long, running our Kill Devil Diesel motor in the, our race truck. 17, 1800 horsepower, seven passes over the weekend. They never missed a beat. Uh, you've got a lot going on here at KDD. We just wanted to go over it a little bit. No, I'm not really this tall, but everyone in the last video I made with Jared made fun of me because they said I look like a midget, but <laughs> this is me. Uh, let's go over some of KDD, what you guys are doing, what you guys have in the works. Yeah, so uh, so these are the Icon heads. We've been running these on your race truck. You guys did some uh, some dyno testing on these recently. Um, these have been real popular for the last couple of years. Uh, it's a 100% clean slate design, uh, USA made casting. We made a bunch of engineering changes for better water delivery, uh, thicker deck surface, uh, better, better flow. Um, what would you see on the dyno when you test them? This is like an 80 horsepower increase. So it's pretty impressive from a set of heads. Now, we're pushing a lot of horsepower. I wouldn't expect that out of a stock truck, but. Sure, yeah, big injector, big turbo combo. So for sure, you know, not gonna bolt them on a stock truck and see 80 horsepower, but with enough fuel and air, uh, there's 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 gains to be had. We've seen that from other uh, other customers, you know, uh, increased uh, uh, or decreased turbo spool up. Um, we've seen, uh, you know, lower EGTs uh, and, uh, you know, more power, you know, either more mile an hour at the track um, or, uh, you know, on a, you know, before and after, you know, chassis dyno stuff, we've seen some, some pretty significant increases. You know, one of the things I like best about the Icon heads is you a lot of material and gusting. I mean, the 6.4 has it, which is one of the reasons they blow head gaskets less, but the 6.0 just didn't have any of that extra material, that extra gusset. We noticed when we switched to Icon heads, I mean, pushing 1,700 horsepower, we blow head gaskets every once in a while. No issues, no problems. That That's a thing of the past for us. I mean, you see how there's no material down no. here? It's at all. And you look at this, they've added a ton. These are gussets, these are gussets, and all of that helps with the clamping force. This is like the world's only 6.4 aluminum head, too. So when we designed these, uh, we, you know, we commonize the casting, so we have one casting, and then we machine it into a 6.0 head or we machine it into a 6.4 head. And so the goal there was to uh, retrofit the 6.4 water jack with all the strength and gussets that you're talking about back into the 6.0-liter head. So the advantage of that was, if you look at a 6.0-liter, there's no water jack, and there's no material here, there's no strength and rigidity. So by uh, bringing the 6.4 uh, uh, strength uh, and bracing here, uh, that also gave us a dual layer water jacket from the 6.4 into the 6.0 head. So we offer cylinder heads for 6.0 and 6.4 in a few different varieties. We have our old faithful iron heads, uh, you know, huge reliability increase. We have some valve spring upgrades and valve upgrades you can do for those. For uh, performance applications, you know, uh, upgraded KC turbo and injectors and stuff, we'd recommend our, uh, our street port icon series. So those flow uh, what a ported factory style head flows out of the box. Uh, we call them an as a cast head. Are they cast aluminum the way that like, as cast they are larger than like a standard port of head. Larger and redesigned. We've got a lot of engineering data on the website that goes deep down the rabbit hole on this. So you guys have seen uh, you know the cooling uh, reroute kits and all that stuff to bring water. These have a, uh, a dual layer water jacket, and what that means is that coolant can circulate through the entire length of the head, and it doesn't just deadhead where it used to anymore and create hot spots we've all heard about. So it solves that problem. It gives us twice the uh, cooling capacity and more than twice the surface area in the cylinder head for cooling. Um, so with all the rigidity issues, we get asked all the time, you know, are there aluminum heads? Are we going to have head gasket issues? Uh, the Duramax came with aluminum heads since 01. The 6.7's had aluminum heads since 2011. Um, and they all come O-ring standard, and so we've, we've not had any head gasket issues. They've been great. I mean, uh, we're running on our 1800 horsepower. We made 11 passes in the last couple of weeks, three yeah. dyno runs. I mean, zero head gasket issues at all. Yeah.